Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom cursor for your game. Maybe you're making a top-down shooter, maybe you're making an RPG, but you know, overall you might not always want this little mouse, this little guy right here. You might want to make it, you know, something more custom, something more, you know, that represents you and your game. So how do we do that exactly? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So if we go over to sprites here and we right click and we create a new sprite, I'm going to call mine SBR underscore cursor. And of course, this sprite is going to be your cursor. I'm going to hit edit sprite and I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to make mine 16. Oh, that's not 16. That's not a one. 16 by 16. That's still not 16. Come on. And I'm going to hit OK. And so that way it's kind of the same size of what we have here it's not too big it's not too small the player can still see it uh, and that's exactly what we're looking for now i'm going to pretend mine is for a for, you know a top-down shooter let's say uh, so i'm going to make mine a little target of course you can make yours however you like um, this is for your oh no um you know what i'm going to make mine 15 by 15 just because uh, I need an odd number for what I'm trying to do here. So if I go like this, and then I go like this, and I can erase here, now we've got a professional looking target cursor. Holy crap, Did you, you didn't think this was going to be an art tutorial, but it was. So let's hit uh, the check here, because we've confirmed that this is the sprite we want. Of course, take as much time as you want, uh, because the cursor is a pretty important thing. Now we're going to right click on objects and we're going to make this obj underscore uh, cursor, of course. And I'm going to set the sprite here to SBR cursor. Now I'm going to add an event and I'm going to add a create event. Actually, you want? No, we're not going to add a create event today. We're just going to go straight to the step event. And in the step event, I'm going to go over to control, which is the fourth tab down. I'm going to drag in some code. And all I'm going to say is x is equal to mouse underscore x and y is equal to mouse underscore y and I'm gonna hit check and I'm gonna hit check now let's create a new room and let's I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna make mine 640 by 480 I keep hitting this button in all my tutorials and I don't know what button it is maybe it's caps lock nope not caps lock I have no idea what button it is it just makes a noise so I'm going to go to objects here and I'm going to place my cursor into the room. A little small, but it'll do. And I'm going to hit run. Now, it's not exactly what we're looking for and you're going to see why in a second as soon as my project compiles here. Any moment now. So as you can see, my cursor is following my mouse. Um, it's following at the center of my mouse uh, and you know, it's there. But uh, we can still see our mouse. We can still see our boring old default cursor. So if I hit X here and I go to global game settings, which is on the very bottom of your asset menu, your asset tree or whatever, whatever people like to call it these days. And I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to open up here. And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to go to Windows. And under options, which is all the way down here, you're going to see a little thing that says display the cursor. I'm going to uncheck that. Now, my question is, is it also on the Mac? I don't even see that on there. Uh, but there should be an option on all the computer ones, like display the cursor for HTML5. You just uncheck that. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, if we play the game again, you will notice that, in fact, our cursor has completely disappeared. All we have is, here we go, this is it. All we have is our gorgeous little professional looking target. So this is perfect for, you know, top down shooter. Of course, if it's an RPG game, it might be a sword. If it's a platformer, it might be a strawberry. Why? I don't know. Maybe you just want a strawberry for your cursor. But whatever it is, I hope it's beautiful. And I hope this has helped you out. Uh, if it has, please let me know. And if it hasn't, if your code doesn't work, please let me know. And I will do my best to help you. And so will others. Um, and besides that, I believe that we have reached the end of this tutorial. Uh, it's been a pleasure getting to talk to you guys, and I want to thank you all so much for watching. Good luck on your future adventures. Happy devving.